Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Silver Run. This is the beginning of a series that I'm going to be doing with Kyle, possibly Micah. We'll have to see who joins. I know JV has got it in anticipation of joining. Um, so we have uh, our little farm. Well, it's not a farm. It's a it's a platform for us to live this small house. <laughs> And a very limited scope of equipment. We have four pieces of equipment. I've got, well, a Volvo, which is, you know, this will be fine for what we're doing. A winch, which is completely useless, uh, aside from using it as a shovel. I don't, I don't imagine I'm going to even keep this. Um, a forwarder. This may be okay, but here's the thing. The money in this game is in containers. So I almost feel like we would be better off getting some kind of system where we can move containers around and sell them. Um, even if it's only the small containers, I, I might trade this in and get something that's going to be useful for us. Because right away, we're going to start making good money. Each container is probably worth $100,000 to $150,000, somewhere around there, for the smaller containers. So with that in mind, this is the way that I'm planning on doing stuff, this isn't really going to be much use. Because with this... You got to cut things down to like four meter sections, and that's not going to fly for our containers. So what I'm thinking is, it might be better to trade this in, and this, and um, and replace it with a yarder that goes. We can put a yarder on the back of this tractor, um, and then a trailer that we can pull around with this tractor that goes on a tipper. The only thing that we're missing is a, a some kind of forklift device. We're gonna have to spend some money. I may even have to take out a small loan. Uh, but once we have that stuff, we'll be able to pay that back really quick. Like this, I'm, I'm going to say like right here in the in the near vicinity to the house, there's got to be $250,000 worth of wood. So we'll make that back pretty quick. This thing cuts really quickly. And um, I'm surprised they gave this to us so early in game. Um, but it is it is nice. Like it's a good it's a good device. It's quick, efficient, can cut down some pretty decent sized trees, and I think it's it runs about three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So they've given us a really nice piece of equipment here. Now, um, we'll get there, and then we're gonna start buying into industries. The goal is to be able to rebuild the roller coaster. It might take us a year to do it, but we're gonna get it done. Um, and the other goal is obviously to build sailboats and, and make money. So we're gonna get that done also. But once again, I think, like I said, I don't think this yarder is. Or this, um, this is really going to match the way that I want to do things. So I'm going to go ahead and get this, this, and this down to the shop. We're going to keep the Volvo, but I'm going to get a yarder for it and move it up here. So we'll be right back. And I need to correct myself. I've got a couple of viewers out there that will very kindly remind me that this is not a cutter. It is a harvester is what they call it. So I apologize. I, I call these cutters. I mean, that's what they do, but they do more than that. They strip the logs, they size the logs. Um, so it is a device that is more than just a, uh, a tree cutter. It's it's a, it is a full on harvester. So, uh, anyway, I'll be back. All right. So I'm down at the shop and I'm going to move these things into the cell point. You can see the roller coaster across the street. If you've been watching any of my demo videos, you guys have seen plenty of footage of the map. Uh, if you want to get a tour, I did a map tour. Uh, also, I looked at all the equipment that comes with this DLC, and I've kind of played around with a lot of it and made some decisions on what I like and what I don't like. And I definitely, the Yarder, I think, is probably the most exciting and usable device um, since the release. I, I think that, that that's probably the best spent money. Uh, and I'm going to get the larger yarder. I don't... The little one is good, but the yard, the larger one can pull several trees at once. So it's kind of like a forwarder. It, it works really quickly. Um, so we're going to back this guy in. Once again, this is cool equipment, but it's just not something that I need. So, And my other big problem with this thing, of course, is the crane controls. I just... I suck with these things. I, I got... You know, I got the Logitech side panel. And what makes me angry about it is that this... Uh, for some reason, every time I try to use it, Farm Sim resets the controls, so it's kind of useless. So even though I have it, I can't really use it. And now the button's sticking. You know, this is the problem with these. It's got, like, a stuck button. That's the problem with these controls. They just... They're junk. 
Anyway, uh, all right, so um, it works well for a lot of other stuff, but that button after, after three uses broke. Just like, come on. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and sell. Oh, it's not worth much. Dang. And this is worth 200 bucks. Um, all right, well, I was going to say I might, might as well just keep it, but okay, we sold it. Uh, okay, so let's take a look and see. Um, I'm going to guesstimate we need about 100000 extra dollars. Um, so let's go to the bank. I'll be right back. I've made my way over to uh, Silver Run Savings, and we're going to go in and see if we can't get some some money. I was uh, able to convince them to give me a loan for $150,000. Suckers. No, we'll pay them back as soon as possible. We're going to get that paid off first before we do much of anything else. Um, but the reason why I got the little... I was going to get 100 but the reason why I got a little extra was when I was at the dealership, I noticed they had something for sale that we need. And I'll show you what that is. Um, so I'll be right back. So right now they have a used New Holland. Um, it's half off. We need one of these, and this is the heavy-duty forestry model, so we're going to go ahead and buy that. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't resist that. I mean, even if we don't use it right away, it's going to get used pretty quick. So let's see what else we need. Um, there's a couple forestry pieces of equipment that we need to grab. Uh, the first is going to be, let's see here. Um, pardon me. Where did they go? I would love one of these, but that's just so expensive. But we will get one eventually. This makes cutting down really easy. Though I will say our harvester is pretty good. Yeah, see, look at this. $375 new. That's a lot of... The, the harvester costs a lot of money. Um, so I wanted to get this. I know this is expensive, but this is definitely um, what we're going to be grabbing because this guy is worth its weight in gold. Um so let's grab it. It's all fine the way it is. So there goes most of our money. The other thing that we're going to be grabbing, I'm going to take a look through here. Um, we don't need a, I'm not going to get a truck. Eventually we will need a truck, but um, I'm thinking, boy, these are expensive. Cheaper's criminy. This, this low loader, I'm trying to think. We need a low loader. Let's see what we got. Um... I don't think we necessarily have to get it from that pack, so let's look here. That one's a lot less expensive. Um, why is that one so pricey? This one is how long? Let's see, configuration, seven tons. So it must be six, six meters. It's listed at like 5.9. How long is this one? Four? No. Does this expand? Contour hybrid. I think this actually looks like it might expand out. So I, this, I think, wow, this is way more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Um, but we don't need the spare wheel. Um, definitely going to go with a different color. Something a little less obnoxious. That looks good. Um, I think this actually um, expands out on the sides, and it might actually stretch, too. So let's see. This That doesn't look like it can hold. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we need to put a big container on here, and so I've got to figure out how to do that. Um, once we get it on, it could just stay on until we sell them. But, uh, all right, well. Let me take a look at the other one real quick again. This one. What's the difference? I think this one has as much bed as that one does. The only downside is this one can't widen. So if we want to get something that has tracks on it and move it around, we're not going to be able to do that. But we're going to go ahead and grab this. Let's not make too much of a deal out of it. Um, okay, so uh, right now, and then the last but not least, oh, God, I don't know, man. That is definitely, I don't think that's going to be six meters. We'll have to see. Hold on. So the other thing that we need to do is get... Um, we're going to pick up one of these containers, and that is in the pack. We need a giant's container. There we go. Or a lizard container. 
20 foot, 30 foot, 20 foot, 6 meter lizard forestry. And I want to get a nice, no, let's, now, once again, it is, yeah, this, as soon as we fill this up, it's going to go away. <laughs> so it's a lot of effort for that. Will this fit on that? Oh, yeah, no problems. That'll fit on there. That's that's what we need. So, um, first things first. We need that back up. We need that back up. I don't know if this can pick up. This probably can't pick that up. So here's what we're going to do. I got a little secret. They've been selling these here for a while, and I, I couldn't resist. I don't know if I... Yeah, there we go. So where we're gonna go is I got there's a little a little trick down the street here I'm gonna show you what we got. So there's the our uh, our roller coaster. Well, this thing is touchy. But uh, down here at this warehouse they've got something for us to use, and I talked to them and we, they said we could use it at the shop also. The guy that owns the shop also owns this. Uh, this larger sawmill. Maybe someday we'll buy out the sawmill, but for right now, we can use this. And we're going to need this. We're going to bring this over to the shop um, for the time being because we're going to need it to load our... our um, our cargo container needs to be loaded onto the... Uh, onto our trailer. <laughs> so... Try to get this thing picked up. <laughs> I know it's silly, but this will make our lives a lot easier. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take this over to the shop. I'll be back. All right, so we've arrived. The first thing we're gonna do is. We're gonna get all this equipment, hopefully, up to the shop. Uh, I'm gonna try to do it in one trip, but I don't know. That Kohler is pretty big. I may have to come back down for it. Um, but we need to get the... Uh, can I look? The problem is I can't get around that tongue. Arg. Oh well, I wanted to put that up on the front, but So we'll come back down for our our carton, our container. There we go. Oh yeah, and the one thing that we do need, I'm so glad that thing was for sale. Um, but I am gonna get it fixed up. So we got a couple things going on here, like a million things. I'm gonna grab this. gonna take it and put it over here and I'm gonna fix it up and we're gonna so we're gonna repair this 600 bucks it's actually not bad to get it back up to full operating condition and then we're gonna real quick here I need to run in this shop and we need a part they've got parts for the front loaders let's see telehandler skid steer there we go first of all we got a rock breaker we're not gonna get that yet because I don't need it but I've got a stump grinder. We definitely need that. And we've also got a log and brush fork, and we need that to pick up the logs that we're going to be cutting. So let's go ahead and load these onto our flatbed. Pretty cool, huh? This thing reminds me of Wally. Drop that. Fasten that stump grinder down to the. That should keep it on. Yeah, 
And then this goes on. And we can fasten that down. And then last but not least, we can put our motor bike on there. That's how we're going to get around quickly if we need to. <laughs> it's not quite as useful as like a Kubota or something, but still, up in the woods it's fun. Train goes whizzing by. And the reason why we needed this big honking thing is because this can be picked up and put onto that trailer, if I can get that down low enough. See that? And then we can lift this up, and when, uh, when we come back down, we can put this onto that. We'll flip it around, hopefully. Man, that looks big. Gosh, I hope if that's not big enough, we're going to have to just return this and buy the other one. I don't know. It looks a little bit short. We can also set it on there on an angle a little bit, but that's not super safe. But but whatever. It's also way cheaper. <laughs> Is that horrible? I think that'll keep the bike on there. Let's raise up that platform. And we're going to take our secret way up into the woods. There's a little shortcut, thankfully, that they put in here. It goes right out of the shop to our location. Yeah, those look like they're staying on, so that's good. So we're going to take this up. Interestingly, I was playing this last night, and the game was chopping like I mean, it still is a little bit, but it was chopping like crazy. And now... It's just running fine. It's weird. And I had even restarted my computer and stuff. I don't know. It's really bizarre. This forest is taxing. Do I own this section of land? Ooh, that looks like it's going to fall off. Uh, let's see here real quick. On the map, this there's a lot of nice trees right there. Do I? I think I do own this. Let's see. Map. Oh, no, I don't. Of course. I own everything to the... I don't own any of this. I own everything on this side of the road. There's still nice trees back here, though. A bunch of them. Look at all those. Those are ours. So that's cool. All that up ahead is ours, too. Like I said, we got a, probably a couple million dollars worth of wood on this property. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to harvest all, and then we'll sell it and move. Um, and, you know... But before we do that, we'll replant. Because I think if once we replant, they'll start growing back. So... Oh, man, this is... Come on, baby. There's a less steep incline um, the other way, but it's much longer. So we'll see if this tractor can make it up here. It looks like it's done. Actually, we're in fifth gear, so... Popped it down to... Or fourth, sixth gear. I popped it down to... Get it up into the RPM zone there. Don't shift. Oh, well. You can't really... You, you can control the shifting a little bit, but it does what it's going to do. That's a little frustrating, but <laughs> it's what it is. <laughs> the other thing we need is a tipper or some kind of little trailer for junk wood. Because we're going to have little pieces of wood left over. So I need to buy one of those, too. And then, you know, we'll see what we need. Oh, yeah, we need to... All right. Oh, I left the bike running. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Take that off. Take that off. There we go. <laughs> I figured that would be some fun later on. 
Okay. And so then we can get our... Skid steer unloaded. And I was just going to park that back over here. But the problem is... Oh, see, they, they added this. That's something they added with the... Um, what is the pack? The... Uh, the bailing pack, the one with the, what's it called? Oh my gosh, the Verdstein. That, that, or Veneer, v Vermeer, that's it. The Vermeer Baler. They've added to the game. If you push the joystick without gas, it actually, it does the tank turn, which is cool. That actually is a big, uh, it makes turning a lot easier in place. You can put stuff away. Oops. I made the disaster the disastrous mistake of changing camera angles. All right, so we're going to go ahead and grab oh, oops. Dismount. There we go. And that came off nicely. Stump grinding will probably happen afterwards because we have a lot of stuff to do. So I'm going to actually put this back here. I don't think we'll drive back here often. <laughs> and we're going to park this right here. Good. And then I'm going to... Ah! That didn't work. Okay. We're going to park this right here like so. Just like that. <laughs> and we're going to take this back down to the shop, so I'll be right back. All right, so let's see if this bad boy fits. I'm a little concerned that it's going to be too big. It looks too big. Um... No, you know what? I think it's going to fit. It's just going to fit. But it's going to fit. Oh, wow. Like, literally, third down in inches. Oh, man. It's a little bit on the other side, like on the front side. I don't know if you guys see that or not. It's not quite on there, but... we doing on the other side there. I don't want to over. I wish they would snap into place. They don't. They do on the Schwarzmuller trailer, but not on this one. So there you go. <laughs> I wish that trailer extended, but it doesn't. But we're going to leave this guy parked here because we're going to be doing that often. It's when you uh, sell the lumber out of that, the carton disappears. So... Um, yeah. What was the other thing I said we needed? We need to get a tipper for junk wood. Let's see what they got. I don't think we need a big one. There's this little tiny salic one. I, that's probably, honestly, the size that we need. <laughs> and that's really small. We'll do this, uh, the Welger. Man. I wish we could do it without, I don't know, this is so tall. It's taller than, I wish I could have an in-between size. Unfortunately, I didn't load any mods because I know the guys are going to run with me. And so I wanted to keep it as mod-free as possible to make connections easy. But I think that the Salic is just too small. What did I do? What did I do? Dang it. Okay, go back. So we're just going to grab this one. Okay. And we'll we'll toss excess lumber in there. Or if we need to make wood chips. 
Okay, so now the other thing we need to do with this guy is we're going to fasten this on. You can see right there it's not on. What the? That doesn't look right, but okay. And that should be fine. That was the world's quietest train. So we're going to take this up here. This is what we're going to load our logs into. All right, so I'll be back. I'm going to get it up the hill. I'll be back. And we're going to park this right here. That looks great. Oh, I should probably open it because then I have to reattach to it to do that. So we're going to do this and open that up. There, and that way we don't have to do that later. Ta-da! So, we got that up there nice and safe. Looks fairly safe. And I'm going to go down and grab the other stuff. I'll be back. All right, so we have um, got the yarder back up here. I'm not bringing the other stuff up yet, but the yarder is going to go right about here. And I'm going to go ahead and unfold it. And once that is set up, we're going to drop this tractor off. Um, and I'll have to bring the cart up, but I don't need it quite yet. So I'm going to move this off. And we're going to start. I'd like to get the yarder set up up here. Um, I got to make sure I'm going to set up before I start doing the lumber because I want to make sure that I don't cut down a tree. Like the furthest tree out is where I need the yarder. I need to be able to pull all these trees back. So I need to keep one of these trees. I'm going to see. Maybe it'll connect to this one. Or maybe one of these. These are trees. We can cut them later, but I want to... All these logs that are in this vicinity can be picked up by the yarder, and I want to make sure that the outer trees are the ones that stay. I guess I can just be careful when I'm cutting. But this one seems like a smaller tree that might be appropriate to save for a while. Let's go ahead and hook the yarder up to that. So I'm going to go back here and grab that. And, you know, pretty much we're just... Today we're just getting set up. Uh, and then in the next episode, we'll start logging. Um, and then eventually, hopefully, you know, I'll have enough equipment to get a couple of guys going with me to do logging. And we'll get a lot of logging done. Where is the... Oh, I need to... I think I just do... There we go. I got it. I'm trying to remember the, the controls. And then I remembered... Yes, it connects right to that tree. That one out there. I'm hoping it connects to this tree first and I'll cut these down. I should be able to get all those trees with this connection. Does it connect to that? Yeah, it can do that. Actually, let's do for now, let's go over this way. Oh yeah, see, look at this. This is great because we can connect to, to this tree. Oh, look, you can go higher up and down. I didn't know that. Now, when I was doing the demo, I didn't realize you could actually move it up and down, but that so we will, we will do that right there. And I screwed up and pressed the wrong button. Frig! All right, so we're going to do this, and I'm going to set that tree. There we go. So now we got our lines up, and we can start cutting these trees down right here on top of the mountain. All right, now I'm bringing the last piece of equipment that we own up here. We got everything up at our farm. The yard is hooked up. It's a little scary that it's only hooked to two trees there. I'm a, I think in real life you would not, you'd have to relocate because you don't definitely don't want that. Like that could be a disaster waiting to happen right there. And the yarder just falls over. Now, apparently there's pieces of wood. There's like wood carvings around that we can gather. And that'll give us some money too. They're actually, I think they're really valuable. Uh, and they're going in the art gallery. But there's like hidden native Indian art or something like that. And we can collect it and give it to our friends and family for money. Oh, wow. It's getting real choppy again. Okay. So I've got everything set up. To go, we've got the equipment that we're going to use for the first segment of our, our logging. And our goal is to save up enough money to, one, get out of debt, get some some wealth accumulated um, so that we can then uh, turn around, buy some of the industries in town, and get started working on sailboats and stuff like that. So there's our container open. It's ready to receive the logs that we harvest. 
with our Komatsu. So, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this episode as we got all set up. We are ready to go, and I will start harvesting in the next exciting episode. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help, and we will see you next time on Farm Sim 22, the Platinum Expansion, Silver Run Forest. Bye.